think on a wonderful Friday, everybody. We are going down south now where we are going to take you to one of our favorite campuses on the island because they do so many wonderful things for our island community. Mount Carmel is known for, as Chris mentioned earlier in the show, they're known for their business fair. They're also island-wide respected for the amazing work they do with music and the, uh, the Phoenix Band. But one of the events that I have always enjoyed covering down in Mount Carmel is the Science Fair, and it is back, baby. So we have got... Dave Duenas, uh, Ryan Leon Guerrero, and some kids from Mount Carmel today. Guys, first of all, hop a day, good morning, and congratulations. So happy to see that the sign is back. Buenas right. and hoppa day. All right, and Jason. Hey, hey, even if we have to do this on Zoom, I guess that just that just proves that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is a thing. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so uh, Dave, is there is there a central theme that you guys are working with this year? Because I know when I've covered uh, some of the Mount Carmel science fairs in the past, it was. Um, you know, it was maybe to apply a certain uh, scientific principle or say, like, I remember one year it was like um, innovative uses of a fruit to improve healthcare. care. Um, what are the young students and these wonderful young minds concentrating on this year? Well, you have a great memory, Jason. That's uh, I'm really impressed. Uh, first of all, I just want to say I'd like to consent our, uh, dis, um, impart our heartfelt condolences to Joseph Ada, former governor Joseph Ada and his family. I would just learned that his, uh, his wife uh, passed away. So. Um, our, uh, from the MCS family, our condolences. And, and uh, just to answer your question, uh, you know, we're interested in teaching the students about the scientific method and uh, being able to come up with a, an hypothesis to be able to, um, it, whether it's right or wrong, to be able to uh, affect the scientific method and learn um, procedures and steps. And we, we just believe that this is a, an important process in their, in their reasoning. And uh, we like to be able to give them the opportunity to exercise their rhetoric as well, to be able to argue their point or to get their point across to the judges. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we're working on their public speaking skills. We're working on their or their grammar, you know, and any kind of mathematical formulas that they have to present. So it's a it's a pretty holistic kind of experience. And uh, this is our 64th year of doing it, and so we're very proud to present it again this year. We are doing it face to face, and of course, we are implementing all kinds of uh, of our protocols uh, only a certain number of people are allowed in and and uh and we're, we're keeping our distance and everybody's masked and so uh but we're we're really uh interested in making sure that the, the kids um can carry on this tradition despite the uh, the pandemic now to answer your question about the theme we're always looking uh, to see if anybody can you know push the envelope a little bit maybe solve the maybe cure a disease maybe cure, cure the coronavirus a lot of times uh, this year, we're going to be looking at um, uh, any uh, projects that have to do with a uh, local environment, um, how to improve the, you know, um, you know, uh, if we could talk about the rhino beetle, we could talk, we could talk about conservation, um, preventing erosion and these kinds of things. We encourage uh, the students to look in, into original um, sort of out of the envelope kinds of um, projects and not necessarily Google up something quick and easy. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's what we're doing this year. Okay, well now let's go to Ryan because uh, you know Ryan, we've had the uh, the great pleasure of speaking with you in the past, and and you've always said that you know you encourage your your students through your teaching to uh, to think critically, and you know and and like Dave was saying, you know to to challenge the envelope or to push the envelope to challenge convention, uh, but in doing so, you know uh, with the values of being Chamorro, you know respectfully and in service to our community. So you know how how have you been um, helping the students that are participating in the science fair this year to kind of you know take that scientific approach and say, you know, I believe there, there's a better way to do things or, you know, I don't, I don't think that some of the solutions that previous generations came up with, you know, I, I think we can, we can improve on this. You know, how have you fostered that? Uh, really, um, the way, the way I've been doing that is, uh, again, right, I, I am the Chamorro teacher here at Mount Carmel. And so, um, like Mr. D was saying, uh, Mr. Dave Duenas, uh, you know, really the way I, I kind of tried my best to, to help and, and push them in the right direction is to really focus on the local, the local aspects, right? um culturally um just being here right just being on guam it's already cultural right it's 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 the, the home of the Chamorro, the land of the Chamorro people and so uh really keeping everything home based as 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 much as possible um really is is the way that i i've gone about doing that so uh as as far as the language you know it's a little different incorporating the Chamorro language into uh scientific terms you know so uh <laughs> that that portion yeah uh that one stays in english but the the, the cultural aspect is still there um, in that regard, so yes. Yeah, how, how would you how would you actually say Bunsen burner in Chim in native tomorrow? 
Uh, you would just say, uh, you know, uh, I guess um, I, I really can't answer that. And so, uh, really, uh, <laughs> when, when, when Ryan, you say you just say Oven. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, really. But uh, you know, um, I I've actually been asked to before to uh to to kind of uh work alongside EPA and and do some of their data collections, right? And I actually had to turn that down because uh, again, it's it's a formal document, and and these these kind of terms and stuff, uh, you can't you can't memorialize it, but but then it's it's a legal document, right, and stuff like that. So uh, I try to uh, avoid that much as possible. Uh, really, my 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 job here at, at MCS is to teach conversational tomorrow, and so uh, that that's the route and aspect that that I try to stay in, mm. stay in my lane, you know, stay in my lane. You know, but but I do really appreciate that that angle because you know, as as STEM as a discipline, you know, really begins to take off in, and you know, it has for the past several years. But uh, in society, people are really be beginning to take interest in it, uh, seeking careers in it, and really appreciate what it does for society. Um, People are also saying that, you know, there's an ethics involved and, you know, your own culture and the role that um, that, you know, the way the way you're, the, the way you conduct yourself, the way you have reverence for elders, the way you um, you treat people. The, the ethics of science is, is something very, very, um, very present in today's in today's scientific community. So I really appreciate what you're doing, you know, and teaching these kids the right way. Well, speaking of kids, I know there are three uh, youngsters that are just uh, chomping at the bit to speak now. So kids, you know, we want to give you guys the floor and just say, you know, we we have so much respect for the fact that you guys are, you know, taking up these projects. You know, it's not just a school assignment. This is something that you, you are really going to take with you the rest of your life. So um, if you can maybe just introduce yourselves and uh, say what you're working on for the science fair this year. Hey, my name's, uh, my name's Orion, I'm sixth grade, and these are my schoolmates, Happy Perry, she's in eighth grade, and Jaden the Vlog in sixth grade. Very cool. So did you guys pick a project, or did you guys kind of like all put your heads together and, uh, and come up with an idea? What are you guys working on? Oh, we all get to do individual projects, and we get to pick our topics, and we get to choose whatever we want to do, as long as it's approved by the school. Okay. Well, I really like what Mr. D was saying um, earlier, you guys, because he was saying that, you know, we're actually giving our students, you know, as science fair presenters, uh, you guys can argue. And if maybe it's like some, some judge comes around and they're, they're taking a look at it or, you know, they may say, you know, I'm not really seeing what you're trying to say or, you know, like I'm, I'm an old person, you know, this isn't the way you did it. You guys actually have the opportunity to say, well, this is the work we put in. You know, this, these are the experiments that we ran. These are the measurements that we took. And this is why we believe that you know we're we're on the right path. So you know, I really like that. Because, man, if I could have get if I could have been taught when I was in sixth grade to argue with my teachers, I'd still be in school. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would have loved that. That that's fantastic. So um, uh, how long have you guys been working on this? Well, we've been working. We've been introduced to the science fair about a month ago, and we've been experimenting for a few weeks. So it's been a pretty long time. Just so we can get all of our work fit in. Mm -hmm. And it's been such such a crazy year, and you know it, it doesn't matter what grade you're in, you know what level of education you're a student in. Um, I'm sure even though, and and again, congratulations to you guys, to Juice Masi for wearing your masks and you know for staying, you know staying apart like like we're all taught and we're all supposed to, supposed to do. But what does it mean for you guys to actually you know be together at school, which which really is your second home, and it's a safe place, and it's where you go to to be fun and to learn and be happy and everything. But you know to work. To work with your friends and work with your neighbors. It's so much better to be in person than online because we actually get to get human interaction and it's really healthy for kids our age to be able to make friends and be social and stuff. So it's really fun that and it's really great that we get to come back to school and I'm really grateful that everyone can be with their friends so that we can stay safe. All right. Well, we wish you the very, the very best in today's plea. And above all, have fun because, you know, you guys have clearly put in the work. Um, we are just so appreciative of the, the, the fact that with all that's going on in the world um, today, you guys continue, you know, to have that focus and to do things the right way. Like Mr. Leangaro was saying, you know, you guys are still practicing in Napa Malik. We're taking care of our neighbors. You know, you guys are you guys are respectful and you guys are uh, proper Guamanians. So, so, kids, congratulations to you. And um, uh, let's go back to Mr. D. Now, from an administrative standpoint, um, how many 
uh, teams or entries do we have in this year's uh, science fair? And more importantly, what are we going to know the results? Because I would love to report on that. Well, we're going to we're going to be offer be offering the results by the end of the day. The entire school is presenting, and so we have a population of about two hundred and eighty one at this point. I was going to say uh, that's a lot. That's a students, lot of projects. <laughs> Not all the students are here. There's still some that are, are presenting um, their projects from home and they'll presenting. They'll be presenting virtually. So we do have a station uh, that the judges can uh, put on some headphones and, and interview students about their project. Uh, their trifold, because uh, we're, we're, we're staying traditional in that sense, we do still require the kids to um, present a trifold. But then um, concurrently with that, we're also requiring that they be able to assemble a Google slide um, for the uh, submission to the Island Wide Science Fair UOG. So the uh, first, the, the first through uh, fifth grade is more of a presentation where they uh, where they present a project and they they can kind of present their 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 work. And uh, from sixth to eighth grade is it's a little bit more uh, uh, detailed. And we and we we encourage them to, like I said earlier, to engage in the scientific method and show their hypotheses and their experiments and whether their experiment was successful or not is not the point but that the method was uh, followed um, assiduously and then they're able to contribute to the, to the, uh, to the science right. as a whole. And uh, to answer your question earlier, I was like, man, what is a Bunsen burner? And I just thought about Chris and, you know, we can't have, we, we cannot have a fire hazard in here. You know, Chris, Chris has talked about fire hazards, but so Taza Glaha fit good science fair downstairs. Okay. So that's what, that's what I think it's a fit good, fit good, fit good science fair, fit good science lab. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, the, the one thing, you know, as, as a big nerd myself, I mean, you know, like I've, I've always been into, you know, science fairs and using computers and everything like that. It, like it is, makes me so happy just to see that you guys are actually continuing this tradition, which every student should go through. And, and the fact that, you know, Mr. D and Mr. Leon Guerrero, um, you guys are actually teaching the most important uh, lesson of all. And, you know, Mr. D, you were just saying that, you know, um, not every failed experiment is a fail. I mean, you can learn a lot from that, but you guys are making science fun. That is the most important thing. Uh, D, thanks very much, Jason. And, you know, I, I, I do want to ca um, capitalize on what Happy said about the social emotional health of the children. It's been a blessing for them to come back. Our, my, our main concern, of course, is to keep them safe. And uh, we know that since they've been back there, grades have been improving. Uh, they're, they're having a, a more of a complexion on their body because they're spending time in the sun. They're breathing the fresh air. <laughs> and all, all, of, all of these things are, are, are really contributing to the holistic development of these kids, you know. And so the science fair and the academic pursuits are very, very important. But so is the music. So is the culture. And so is the, the athletics and all the other things that make these kids whole. So we're happy to be able to pre present that and offer that at Mount Carmel School. Viva Mount Carmel! Viva! Right on! Viva! Viva, yeah, uh, si Viva Ryan. UAM! Viva! Oh, thank you. We appreciate that. Sign Ryan, do you have any, uh, any, any final thoughts as, you know, as these kids embark upon um, what's going to be like a, re a really, really rewarding day? Uh, yes. Um, so, so again, right, today today is our science fair, but uh, it also is Mes Tamoru, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It is the month of March, but it's, which is Mes Tamoru. Uh, so um, really, uh, you know, it's it's a blessing to have uh, the science fair a part of, of uh, especially um, this month, right? Lo Paraguay, ti mes tomorrow uno na meski sakin. It's you know, it's not mes tomorrow just just one one month a year, right? But cada dia, cada pupuengi, todo el tiempo, right? Every day, every night, and all the time, it should be that way. Uh, and so really, um, I'm looking forward to the rest of, of of the month of March. We have a lot of uh, uh, events planned. Uh, activities planned right for for our students um, really again our, our school is very traditional with these events right and the science fair is one of the biggest ones um, but also mess tomorrow right uh, we're very uh, cultural in that sense and so uh, uh, a little bit of what we have done uh, we have done a uh, one activity before um, last week Friday I believe uh, we did a scavenger hunt a tomorrow scavenger hunt right and so uh, I don't know if you can see the the storyboards behind me of the uh, but they they make all kinds with uh, master weavers and master oh, yeah. blacksmiths and and you know even the the magalahis right and so uh, basically my room is is uh, stacked with them and it's displayed everywhere and so uh, we took some of these out and we we scattered them outside in the hallways and in, in, in the class or outside in the hallways um, of our school and um, really we you know uh, we made the students go around and they were given a slip to with a paragraph on it and they had to go around reading the boards you know. And the reason why we kind of did that or, or my idea to incorporate this was because these these storyboards uh, 
tells a lot. It's not just decoration. You know, it's not in my room just to sit there and look pretty. Uh, it really does teach us history. It really does teach us about um, our past, right? And in, in order for us to move forward as a people, we need to know where we come from, right? And so it's very important in that aspect. And so it was a really fun event. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to going down later on uh, this afternoon to, to see all the, the other projects and uh, see, see how uh, these students tied in uh, the cultural aspect in, into their, their, their scientific findings. And so, uh, again, I'm looking forward to the rest of the month of March. And Viva Mestamoru! Viva! Viva! All right, yeah, kids, congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day today. We wish, and, and, and Mr. D, I haven't, for, I haven't forgot about those soursop projects, man. Those were amazing. Yeah, you guys always set the yeah. bar high. So that was a fantastic year. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Sabrina. That's the, Thank okay. you, William. There you go. Viva. All right. Have Viva. a great day, guys. A 951, take a real quick break, and we're coming back to close out the show with uh, the governor of Guam.